right guys, I've always wanted to do some more interior work on some of the cars. So what we're gonna be tackling today is flocking the dash on the blue Evo 8. I'm stoked to do this. I don't think it's too big of a project. We bought a flocking kit on Amazon, I believe. And then we picked up some extra, I think an extra pound of like the flocking material which is it, I mean, I honestly don't even know what it's made of. Um, so we gotta pop the dash back out of the Evo 8. I know we just had it out. Thankfully, it's super easy to remove. So 10, 15 minutes later, we should have that dash out and then we can get to flocking. The reason I got Bobby over here is because we are gonna need her help laying down the adhesive. Cause I know after you put the adhesive down, you only have a few minutes to get the actual fabric down. So let's pop the dash out and we can move on from there. I am super excited to do this. All right, so we have to pull off this panel right here. There's one on the passenger side as well. We already have this piece off right there, which is the gauge cluster surround. So pop that off. This car's already kind of torn apart. We got to pull this piece off, this piece off, climate control comes out, kick panel down here comes off, glove box comes out, and then there's like eight to 10 bolts holding the dash on. Pull all those bolts out. There'll be a few bolts holding the steering column up. We're going to have to drop this back down onto the seat and then we can remove the dash. All right, we got the dash out guys. Very, very simple to do. I did mention earlier that we need to drop down the steering column. I didn't do it this time around. I would highly recommend it. I'm gonna drop it down to put it back in. Makes life a lot easier. So just go ahead, pop out the bolts for the column and you can set the steering wheel down on the seat. So we're gonna be flocking everything from right here, this line, this whole line right there up. We're not gonna be coming down here at all. Also right here, this line up, we're not gonna be coming down the sides at all either. So we need to go ahead and pop out this vent right here, that vent right there. We already have that vent out. So those the two vents should just pop right off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mask off where we need to stop putting the adhesive. So just run a little bit of tape right there along that edge. That we already know, a little bit right there along that edge and we should be good. This thing's all prepped up, ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down with some IPA, just 70% IPA, try to get all this dust and dirt off here, get it as clean as possible. And then whenever Bobby shows up, we can get this thing flocked. It's a funny word. What up? Hi. You ready to flock? Would you like to flock? I only know how to flock a, a tree. You want to flock? Uh, you want to flock a dash? Follow me. This guy right here. Okay. From here, this line here, to the back, is gonna be flocked. What does that mean? It's gonna be all like fluffy and cuddly. Mm mm. Mm mm. <laughs> Excuse me, but what? Like carpet? <laughs> <laughs> Essentially. Honey, I don't like that. No, it's this material right here. It's actually blocking fiber. It's gonna be suede. Why? Honey, you gotta see it when it's done. Apparently Bobby doesn't approve of us flocking the dash. I've just never heard of that, only on Christmas trees. You want, should I show you a picture before we do it? Yes. I'm not doing it all the way down here. I'm just doing that top part. Oh. 
It's sick. Yeah, that's okay. No, I promise you, imagine it when it's done. And if we don't like it, guess what? We could take it I'll off. I'll go buy a new dash. No, you can't take it off. You can't take it off? No. Oh, this is a freaking joke. So do you approve? Yeah, I guess so. Dick. So I know you want me to flock all day long with you, but I was just kind of hoping that we could do that one thing to my car. Well, we gotta flock the dash. No, listen. Also, put the back light in. Do what one thing in your car? The light in. That's what you want? Yeah, the reverse light. I got you. This literally takes five minutes, and then we have to let it dry. Five minutes? Ten minutes. Five times, like, five. So, like, 30-ish. Five times six, I mean. Okay, we are pretty much ready to get started. I'm gonna prep this out, so we're gonna fill this. It's that halfway up with these fibers right here, the suede fibers, and then we are going to throw down the adhesive. This adhesive, you have about 10 minutes, I believe, to get the flock onto the dash. So that's why Bobby's here. She's gonna help me lay this down. Would you like a brush or the roller? Mm, I don't know, we'll see what works better. We have 10 minutes. As soon as we get this on the dash, the whole thing has to be flocked. I'm so confused, what is it? Like, do you so, need to piece it on there? Like, is it a big no, piece? No, all these tiny little fibers go in here. So you'll put the adhesive down, you'll put the fibers in this thing, and then you'll go like this. And then Ash is gonna spray it on. So let's get the stuff in this guy here, and then get some adhesive down, flock it out, and see how good just, she looks. Every time you say flock, it reminds me of the F word. I gotta move this. So I'm gonna do all the edges with my little brushy brush and you're gonna do the majority of it. All right, start rolling around. Here goes nothing, boys. Oh, catch it, catch it, catch it. I love doing school projects together. All right, I believe my work here is done. I have no clue what I'm doing. You ready? Whoa. It said in the instructions we can't put too much on. Yeah, I want to try. Here you go. Am I doing good work? What do you think? Ah, my clothes off. Good. So you said earlier that this is stupid. What do you think now? I really like it. So I believe from here we need to wait about 24 hours. Once you have applied sufficient fibers, set aside your project to dry for 10 to 15 hours before you remove excess fibers. We're gonna wait 24 hours and then we can put a stash back in the car. You wanna work on your car, you say? Yes. Okay, we gotta clean the floor. As you can see, boys, she makes a big mess. So we're gonna get this thing all cleaned up. We're gonna move that over there somewhere, just out of the way. And then Bobby wants to work on the STI again. Subaru problems. Nah, -uh, it's like the simplest mod you could ever have. I feel it. Bobby wants to show you guys how to install a third brake light on a 2015 STI. 2015? 20, 2019. You just insulted Gare? I don't know what your, your stupid car is. All right, we have a brake light. Is this just a brake light or is it a running light too? You know, it probably could be either, depending on how you wire it. Uh, I don't know, I haven't figured that out yet. All right. And then we have some mounts and we're gonna install it, come on. Where'd my flat head go? There's four clips on the bottom of the bumper that we just have to loosen up the bumper with. We've gotta pop those suckers up. My head doesn't fit under here. I just broke a freaking clip. Is the whole car ruined now? Yeah, totally. It's stuck in there, like a lot. See, she's really stuck.
All right, we got Bobby's third brake light in, like actually installed, but not wired because we ran out of time for the day. That's my brother's birthday, so I gotta go say what's up to him. But this dash looks so good. Check it out. The cool thing about flocking is you can't put on too much. They say literally just put on as much as you can. And then after like 24 hours, we're gonna go through and blow it off. It's gonna blow off all the excess and we'll be good to go. We should be able to get that dash back in the car tomorrow. So if you guys wanna see how that looks, go check out tomorrow's video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Peace out. Let me know what you think in the comment section below of the flocked dash. I think I'm really gonna like it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bitcoin's at 24 grand right now. I'm rich, wow.